morning everybody welcome back to another week in my life at home if you guys are new my name is Mackenzie make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around I am a full-time content creator currently living in Maryland at my parents house and we are getting ready for another full week I'm super excited because this weekend we are going to West Virginia to visit my twin sister Madison she is getting her master's in engineering there right now as you guys know and it's my dad's birthday this weekend and we're gonna go up with the Mannions and just like have a fun weekend of football tailgating drinking food all that jazz so you guys will see that towards the end of this video but in the meantime i've got lots of work to get done i am wrapping up the rest of my europe content i've got one last vlog to edit for greece and then i need to get up my greece travel guide i've got lots of sponsored content to film this week plus next week i am headed down to florida to do a little bit of apartment hunting in st pete beach so i will be gone all next week in florida so just kind of getting ready to be out of town for a week so last week it felt so good to be back home and getting back into a routine I started going to the gym again and it really just like put that pep in my step so I'm excited to get back after it today it's Monday and I'm wearing top and leggings both from girlfriend collective I love this little one shoulder sports bra it's probably a little much for my hometown gym with all the like old retired people this morning the only downside to this gym is that it doesn't open until 10 but I'm learning to kind of like it because it allows me to have like a slower morning checking emails reading making my bed you know like having a skincare routine things like that so all right let's get a workout in Okay, just did a quick little makeup routine and I threw my hair up because the first order of business today is going to be filming a workout little try on haul. I got some new stuff from Glow Mode, which is one of my all time like favorite activewear lines. Their stuff is so good. They have a lot of Lululemon align dupes. So if you're looking for like really soft material, that's what they've got. And I got a bunch of new items just to kind of treat myself for being back in my workout era. And they ha always have the best colors. That's why I really like buying from them. They don't just have like all black, all white, you know. So we're gonna film that and I'm gonna burn this candle in the background. I just got this from Target yesterday and it smells like me, the beach and sunscreen. Coconut White Woods. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mackenzie. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. You guys are probably wondering what I'm eating for lunch today. I'm having a sandwich, a panini with pesto, mozzarella, fresh basil, tomato, balsamic. It's like a caprese, it sounds kind of good. And I've got grapes. Mmm, not bad. Our sweet Abby girl is not doing well. She took a bad turn last week. She won't really eat, but she seemed interested in my sandwich. 
I'm feeling so stressed, you guys. I could cry. I had every intent of today being a full filming day, but my Hollister brief isn't here. The other half of my American Eagle package isn't here. The other half of my Shein order isn't here. Um, so it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Instead, we're going to move things around. I filmed the activewear haul, and now we're going to head over to Starbucks and just crank out some work. I've decided today and tomorrow are going to be computer work days, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm going to film like I've literally never filmed before and going to get all this shit done. All right, let's light a fire up our butts, put our productive glasses on, and let's get after it. Okay, okay, let's get some work done. Okay, I've got my favorite little table by the window and we're gonna get working. Perfect work view as I finish up my travel guide. I'm just finishing up Rome and then I'll be ready to edit and get out of here. 3,500 words, you guys. This has all the info. All right, guys, I came home to some mail. Shocker. Um, all the things that I was stressed about that hadn't come, it looks like were delivered while I was gone. So that's good. So let's do a little unboxing. The first thing that I got is from a brand called Hyrus. Hyrus. And I have literally zero place I'll ever wear this. But they offered to send me a dress. And this was so iconic. I had to say yes. Look at it. Entirely bedazzled. These huge sleeves. Um, I'd have to get like a slip. Or like wear some like sexy black something underneath of it. But like wow. Iconic, okay, and I got a PR package from Purology. I'm so excited about this stuff This is their leave-in spray and then their purple shampoo and conditioner freshman college roommate Emma used to use this all the time. She would swear about this brand. So I'm really excited about that I only had one part of my Shein order get here and it's this pair of platform fake Uggs I'm really excited about these. I wanted to see how I liked the height before I bought a real pair So we'll see and then I got a bunch of stuff from American Eagle. I placed a huge order this month because they had so many cute new arrivals for the holiday time. And I know so many of you guys, this is your favorite store to buy from. So I figured I'd get lots of new arrivals to share. As you guys know, I work with them every single month on Instagram, creating a reel, styling a bunch of different outfits, and then just talking through the fit and sizing of their stuff. So I got all those sweaters, then I got two pairs of jeans, black, and then I have these in the dark wash and I absolutely love them, so I got them in light wash as well. I got this amazing sherpa -y jacket. I'm so excited about this. I have a similar one from Abercrombie actually that I got last year, maybe at the beginning of this year, but Madison stole it. My twin sister took it to school and I was like, oh, where is that jacket? And then she posted in it in her Be Real literally two days ago and I was like, that's where it is. Um, so yeah, these amazing pajama pants, literally how cute. These were like $25. I'm like in my Christmas era. I finally got a pair of American Eagle yoga pants. And then I got a shacket, little flannel shacket. I got a regular flannel. It looks like they accidentally sent me two hoodies, so two gray hoodies. And then I got a scarf and a hat to match all that. And then last but not least, leather shacket. So you guys will see how all this stuff fits over on my LTK. I have my LTK linked in 
the description bar of every video. If you guys are ever looking for links to what I'm wearing on a daily basis, all that jazz, you can find it there. My shirt today, just solid white long sleeve. And then I'm wearing Halster pants and Puma sneakers. I'll have that linked there. So yeah, goodbye. If you know me, you know I don't really like soup that much, but I love chicken corn chowder so much. I'm really excited. That's what mom made for dinner tonight. Mom, is there a recipe for this one? Or is it on a card? Oh, look, it's right here. <laughs> this is an ancient recipe card. Screenshot. When daylight savings hits, 7 p.m. means it's time to be showered and in pajamas and cozied up in bed. I'm going to finish up my Italy travel guide and publish this before I head to bed. Waking up without an alarm ever since getting home from Europe and my sleep schedule has been phenomenal. I've been going to bed at like 10.30, waking up at 7.20 pretty much every single day, um, give or take 10 minutes. No phone, just hopping into a little bit of morning reading. I'm currently reading Icebreaker. I just started like a day ago. So. I was falling asleep adding the photos to this travel guide last night, so I called it quits and headed to bed. This morning I just popped in all the photos and set this live. This is a packed travel guide. So if you guys are ever planning a trip to Italy, this has literally all of my recommendations. I tried to put a lot of photos in it too to make it a little more engaging. I've got time to kill before going to the gym, so I'm gonna edit the try on haul that I filmed yesterday. Clean sweatpants. I do have the extra support, but it does have the removable pads as well. So go Okay, we're going to let this process to YouTube while I hit the gym. Time to get dressed. Okay, just got dressed for the gym. I'm wearing an adorable set from Glow Mode. Same brand that all the stuff from yesterday's YouTube video was from. Super cute. I just rediscovered it. It was like shoved in the top of my closet. I pulled it down and was like, oh my god, I forgot I had that. Has a cute little zip up too love i just put my hair in like a slick back ponytail i put a bunch of oil in it and a hair mask because tonight is going to be hair wash day so i just wanted to like let it marinate with some product i'm trying to take better care of my hair so anyways all right that's processing let's hit the gym okay i just got to the gym i really like working out every day too because it makes me feel less guilty about the screen time that i inevitably have to have Obviously, I am a full-time content creator. I spend a lot of time on my phone and on the computer, which I hate, but it's just a necessary part of the job. So while I'm walking on the treadmill each day, I've been linking things to like to know it, posting stuff to my Instagram story, drafting out my Instagram post for the evening. Today, I've got some selects to choose from Franco Sarto, like some new shoes, and it's kind of nice to just knock two birds out with one stone. So AirPods in. Let's kick it! Okay, somebody was on at the stopper today, so I ended up just staying on the treadmill for a full hour and doing some abs right now. Feeling good. It's like 68 degrees outside right now too, which is even better. Let's go home. Okay, lunch today. Same thing as yesterday. All right, just took a quick little body shower and got dressed. Just staying in comfy clothes today. I've got a striped shirt on from Shein and leggings. I am going to stay home for my work day today. My big task for today is editing my Grease vlog. I've got about two and a half hours of footage, so that should take me no less than four hours to edit. Probably a little longer. And I have a meeting with my Like To Know It manager at 3 p.m. to talk about holiday strategy. So, gonna be a cozy one. Lighting my new candle. I love the smell of it. It's very subtle. Tomorrow. Turn the around, John. Ten more minutes. Just went and got myself an apple. I've got some peanut butter and some caramel because I couldn't decide and still editing. Four 
5.50. I'm still editing. I haven't finished yet. I've got about 20 more minutes worth of footage to go through. So about one more hour worth of work, but I am hopping on my Google Meet meeting with Tati to talk through some November holiday strategy. I have a one-on-one -on -one with her every quarter, but I had an amazing month last month. So we're hopping on to do a second round. I think you have a really good advantage because a lot of your community is probably in the same exact boat where they are looking for apartments yeah. they're looking to move it, like they're looking to move they're looking for like you know maybe affordable rugs or affordable like home decor so this is like a perfect opportunity for you to like jump in and just like be that wealth of knowledge for them on that end too i hope so i'm like i it it feels like i'm like having so much anxiety about it i'm like mackenzie so is literally everybody else like I'm so like, here's abby everybody say hi abby we love you I have unfortunate news to share with the vlog, and that is this is going to be the last vlog that Abby is a part of. She's reached the end of her time. We found out yesterday that her heart is failing. On um, top of her kidneys. On top of her kidneys, and she just, we have to put her out of her suffering. Um, so this week is going to be all about showering her with love and giving her all the people food that she likes. So tonight we're having steak for dinner, specifically for Abby. <laughs> and as you can tell, she's kind of excited about it. Hey guys, I'm ready to take a body shower. I'm gonna wash my hair after the gym tomorrow and give it a fresh blowout before my busy content day. My face is feeling so pale, so this combo is absolutely necessary post shower today. It's been a couple hours since I've vlogged. I just talked to Sam, I talked to Jules, I talked to my college roommate Lauren, just a little bit about moving and what I've been up to, some anxieties, things like that. My YouTube video is currently saving right now. My computer sounds like it's about to take off in outer space. Um, once this vlog is edited, I can finally move all of the Europe footage off of my computer and onto my hard drive to save some space, which will be very nice and much needed but while that finishes uploading I'm going to cozy up in bed and read a little bit it's 9 30 right now oh no one percent no 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 please don't die. good morning guys it is Wednesday I am loving icebreaker so far it's a little corny but just in specific areas overall I really like it I like the dynamic of the friend group I'm only about 100 pages in and it's a little bit longer of a book 400 pages so um, just plugging and chugging my way through that one. Uh, I sat in bed this morning and I scheduled my Grease vlog to go live this morning. Added the tags, thumbnail, all that jazz. And I also scheduled Friday's video to go live. So I'm all set with that, which is awesome. And I just finished up filming my Marshalls Club. If you guys saw last week, I headed to Marshalls. I'm putting together some holiday gift ideas with them. And I just put together like a cute little Christmas basket. Um, full of gift ideas so finish up that and just put on some workout clothes I'm getting ready to head out of here I have to drop a couple of things off at the post office before I head to the gym my set today is from girlfriend collective actually um, that's where my set was from on Monday too I haven't worn this one yet um, I love longer like high neck sports bras I find them to be really flattering and they're really supportive and the leggings I'm not a huge fan of the leggings to be honest um, they've got like a weird seam right here that's making me feel like a little like pudgy but um, still cute and I like that they have pockets so yeah, all right, let's get after it. It's going to be a busy day. I'm trying to keep my mind off the fact of Abby. Um, we have an appointment scheduled to put her down on Monday. We're going to bring her with to West Virginia this weekend to see Madison and say goodbye to her. I don't think like anything, no amount of loss can prepare you for what it feels like to watch your dog die and like watch that happen it's so much sadder than i ever imagined abby is our first and only dog we've ever had we adopted her when she was six years old we were in middle school and she's just been like the perfect dog since then um and more than anything i think i'm grieving seeing my parents grieve um 
I obviously have been away at college for many of those years and so I've been away from the dog. They always joke that like I'm four, I'm the dog's like least favorite. I don't really spend as much time with her compared to my parents who are letting her out and feeding her and sleeping with her like every single day. Um, but it's still like, it hasn't even happened yet and it's already proving to be a lot harder than I expected it to be. Um, so yeah, if any of you guys have lost a puppy or a kitty or any type of animal in your life, I'm sure you understand and know that it's no easy thing, but I'm just trying to keep myself busy right now to kind of distract myself from it and soak up this last week with her. Um, so. had to cut my workout short because I locked my keys in the car, but it's okay, it happens. I'm trying not to let it ruin my mood. Not the best workout, just 30 minutes on the treadmill and some abs, but it's okay. Some workouts better than no workout. Hair wash day, finally. Just washed my hair and I put a little bit of this way leave-in conditioner in it. It is so good. I'm gonna let my hair air dry for a little bit while I do my makeup. Um, I've been using Super Goop, whoa, Unseen Sunscreen underneath my makeup every day. It has SPF 40 in it. And as you guys know, one of my New Year's resolutions was to start wearing sunscreen on my face every single day. So I've been being a good little girl and doing that. Um, I also use the Lancome Taint Idol Foundation and this has SPF 25 in it. Um, I'm not really leaving the house, so it's kind of irrelevant, but I told myself that, you know, 21 days to make a habit, otherwise you'll never do it, and I have been, so, yay! Like I said, I've got lots of sponsored stuff to film today, American Eagle, Hollister, and then some holiday stuff are a priority. <laughs> Finishing up my hair right now, um, curling with the T3 iron. Great Christmas gift idea if you guys are starting to add things to your wish list. This has three barrels that you can like detach. I use the one and a half inch barrel the most, but it does come with a one and a quarter and then a one and and then a one inch as well and it's the best i've had it for years still is in great shape just thought i'd throw that out there i'll leave the link down below full glammed up and now we're going to start off with some filming i'm gonna do a hollister stuff first all right i just wrapped up my hollister i took photos and i filmed about five separate tiktoks simultaneously so many cute lounge sets i'm just like so in love with everything they have right now i never in a million years thought i'd be 22 and that my favorite brand would be hollister again but it is i mean so many cute new arrivals so yay i'm moving on to american eagle looks now I'm in love with this sweater from American Eagle, so soft. These black jeans are such a win for me. I've been on the hunt for a high rise pair that have just minimal distressing and these are them. And then I already had these in the dark wash. I love them so much. I wore them literally the entire Europe trip so I ended up picking them up in the light wash too. I'm in love with this leather jacket, you guys. I could not love these Christmas PJs more. I got flannel PJ bottoms from American Eagle, and then I got a red sweater to go with from Aerie, and uh, I just, I've never been like a huge Christmas girl, but I just want it to be Christmas so bad now. Anyways, I just finished up a story set. I did talking, and then I took photos for a blog post, and now we're gonna switch gears and film a TikTok. I've got my tripod like in the middle of the hallway, because as you guys know, this room is tiny, but we're getting to work. It looks like a disaster, but it's a work, everybody. It's 3.02, and I just finished up my Hollister and American Eagle. I still have some holiday looks to do, but I realized I haven't eaten lunch yet, and I'm getting very hungry, so I'm gonna make myself some soup. I'm still getting used to having um, this new cabinet drawer situation. If you guys missed my last vlog, my parents uh, finished up redoing the kitchen. You know, the moving prep is happening and it looks amazing. I wish we would have done this 20 years ago. I'm also having a weird food fixation right now on grapes. Hi, perfect girl. Did you come to see me? Here's a piece of bacon. Okay, I was getting ready to shoot holiday and more holiday came in the mail. So I've got a couple of pieces from Sailor, which is one of my favorite high-end designers. Her stuff is really expensive, but 
If you are in the market looking for like a designer sustainable investment piece, she has amazing stuff. I'm obsessed with that green dress. And then I also got this black one. So I'm gonna do some holiday looks, some New Year's Eve. I know it's like kind of early, but I got those items and then I got a couple of things from Buddy Love. Super cute feathers, more feathers, some leather pants, and then I also got stuff from Revolve that literally the mailman just dropped off. I've got this like hunter green little wrap top. Everything that I got from Revolve is like kind of hard to show you guys holding up. Black long sleeve, maroon little velvet bodysuit. This like slinky little glitter bodysuit, New Year's Eve, perf. Gold little slinky bodysuit, New Year's Eve. And then I also got this red chunky sweater. And I'm about to get filming. Listening to gals on the go while I wrap up holiday looks. Did some Christmas, some New Year's Eve. And I did the same mix of like TikTok and Instagram stories and photos. Feeling accomplished, you guys. I'm so happy and relieved that I can start putting away some of the clothes. I've been keeping all my mail in Madison's room. I'm so happy that I've like done the work with some items that I'm able to hang up in my closet, put away for the upcoming months. Okay, Madison's room is looking a little less scary. I have a TikTok that I need to film tomorrow with some stuff from Naked. And then I pulled a couple of things so that I could do some last minute Thanksgiving inspo. This corner is really scary and that's because this is all stuff that needs to be listed on Poshmark. Madison is going to come home for Thanksgiving and I'm going to let... I'm going to let Madison go through it first and see if she wants anything. But other than that, um, all that stuff will be listed on a Posh soon. Over here, I have a gigantic box um, full of Shein stuff that I'm going to be filming a haul with tomorrow. And then there's like another half of an order here. I'm just waiting for the other half to be shipped. New dish tonight. I'm sure we've had it before in our lifetime. No, nope. oh, Mom said no. Chicken Florentine. It's like chicken, cheese, spinach, artichoke. Now, things like spinach and artichoke are things I say I don't like, but like I haven't had in so long and I just had a bite of it and I liked it. So then I was like, I also haven't had asparagus in probably a decade. When was the last time I even tried it? I just tried it and it just tastes like a green bean. But I'm wondering if it tastes just like a green bean, but it makes your pee yellow, why would you eat asparagus instead of a green bean? Is there a different health benefit? The nutrients are probably different, probably. Mm -hmm. Post dinner, just spent about an hour doing rebranding things, computer work, no fun for you guys to watch. And now I am off to make a couple of returns. First things first, we're gonna head to American Eagle. I accidentally ordered two gray hoodies and I want to return that. Then I'm going to go to Target because I went on Sunday and bought books and they're buy two get one free this week. So I'm gonna go get my free book. And then I'm going to run into TJ Maxx and see if they have anything over there. Um, I never run errands, especially at night, and it feels so late, but I'm like, oh, it's only 7.30, so yeah. It's like I just returned my sweatshirt, but I'm so tempted to get Christmas socks. One thing about me is that I love fun crew socks. They have so many cute tees right now, too. I love American Eagle, you guys, like so much. So fun. I don't know if any of you guys live in Maryland but if you do the Clarksburg outlets are just like so good I don't know there's everything is here and it's always dead it's always like empty a ghost town so you get the whole place to yourself and it's like the best during Christmas time because they have such good sales and they're playing Christmas music right now and I'm just like wow I wish it wasn't closing time for everywhere so I could just putz around kill time spend money I don't need to oh my god the Christmas tree's up Guys, how cute is this? I'm at TJ Maxx looking at things I don't need. It's times like this that I'm so sad. I live at my parents' house and don't have a place to decorate. Like, picture me having a coastal Florida apartment, but with Christmas decor. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Like the Christmas blanket, stop. Nothing's making me sadder than seeing all the Christmas jammies. We always get Abby new ones every year. 
Poor Abby girl. Lots of things I want. Nothing that I'm so glad I got two Christmas books the other day because that whole top shelf was full of them and they're so picked over now. Anyways, the reason why I came back here is because books are expensive, guys. Like $13 a piece. So if I could get one free, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that even if it means driving 15 minutes. I am torn between getting Wreck the Halls and The Christmas Fix. I probably don't need three Christmas books, but I want three Christmas books. There's also a new Ellen Hildebrandt. Has anybody read this? Winter Stroll. Another Christmas on Nantucket finds Winter Street owner Kelly Quinn composing a holiday letter to friends and family. I would get this, but the problem is that I find Ellen Hildebrandt books just such a drag. All right, time to do an exchange. Mom, if you're watching this, What's I kind of want We're Not Really Strangers card game for Christmas. Now that I'm back in my gym era, I've been so tempted to place an order for some Joy Lab stuff. This used to be like my favorite activewear line ever when I was in college for like every holiday like Valentine's Day, Easter, all that stuff, my mom would always get me like a new set from them because I love their stuff, it's such good quality. Um, but I'm resisting because I have so much at home. I'm like, I'm about to move, Mackenzie, you need to pare down. <laughs> but like, come on, how cute is that workout jumpsuit? So I have always known that you can price match books um, to target.com, but what I didn't know is that you can also price match to Amazon and the girl that was doing my return was like this book is like ten dollars on Target But it's seven dollars on Amazon So I was able to save three dollars and get a free book Like wow so exciting. I promise you guys I'm gonna get a library card when I go to st. Pete Kylie has a library card right now and they've had tons of like new books at the St. Pete library So I'm actually really looking forward to it. Um, I'm just waiting until I move and like I'm no longer traveling non-stop to the point when I can't really return a book. So Anyways, all right, it's 8 30. Let's let's go home. That was productive. I'm happy Donald now reading headed to bed. So I'm in a great mood this morning. It's Thursday and the last like Europe task I had was to create like my little end of month montage. I used to do these every single month when I was in college and I kind of have fallen off of it this year and I was like I need to get back to it because I'm watching this video I put together and I'm like I want that life. And the craziest, coolest part is that's my life. That's me. I lived that. And I think there is so much beauty in romanticizing what you're doing um, and taking this step back to kind of compile all of these memories that I have on my vlog camera, which I'm so grateful I have over the last five years. Just it is like the most out of body experience to see it all together and like it just makes me feel so effing lucky that like this is my life so i just finished up my europe one and i'm so happy with the way that it came together it's not in your books and maps it's not there my first subscriber of the trip come say hi did you promise that i will come back Like that was a good one. I just like, ugh. I know like to other people it's like really cheesy, but you know, to me, it's special, okay? So anyways, I just finished that up and I'm getting dressed. I'm about to head over to the gym. I'm like determined not to have a gym session like yesterday, you guys. Here's what I'm wearing today. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees outside. It's November, like what's going on? Um, my top is from Aerie and my shorts are from Lululemon. I figured I would 
you know, wear something something. And I picked this super boring all black outfit out so that I could wear my black New Balance sneakers. I worked out in these the other day and I had such a great workout in them. I feel like shoes make all the difference. And these are like definitely some of my favorite sneakers to go to the gym in because they're super light and they're not bulky at all, but they don't match a ton of my stuff. I feel like white sneakers match better. So I should really try to find these in white for Christmas. But. I wanna live somewhere that's like this temperature this time of year. It is so nice outside right now. You could totally wear a sweater without like profusely sweating, but you could totally wear a skirt and be okay. I feel like that's like Carolina's temperature. Stepper first today. I had lots of work to catch up on today. I just edited all my Hollister content, 45 minutes. I just had such a great workout. It's 70 degrees in November, like best news ever. I'm gonna go. All right, let's make a to-do list of things that need to be done. gonna be another busy filming eating some lunch really quick i've got leftovers from yesterday no mashed potatoes just chicken before i get filming i am working on a couple of different questionnaires for my rebranding that's happening we have our first meeting this week we're gonna be redoing my logo my color scheme my fonts my entire website so just spending some time sending all of this of course, in right, right when i go to film there is like a thunderstorm rolling in but it's okay i've got all the lights on in my room and i'm getting ready to get some shots in I'm talking about this free people vest first and then I've got the Thanksgiving stuff and the cup she holiday wear so let's get to work moving on to Thanksgiving looks I'm obsessed with this that fringe dress that came from cup she yesterday is so flipping cute oh my god it's like the perfect length on me I find a lot of fringe is like too long this is so cute I need a holiday party to wear this too ASAP. I just wrapped up the Thanksgiving outfits and the cup she things I drafted those for a submission while I was going and now I'm getting ready to film a try on haul it's still dark in my room. I think I'm gonna end up filming this way. You guys, I have the biggest sweater haul I think you've ever seen from Shein. It is literally so dark outside right now that it feels like it's 7 p.m. and it's 3.30. I just finished filming my haul. Honestly, it didn't really feel that good and that's because uh, the lighting's just not that good in here but I needed to film today in order to get up on Monday and it's supposed to be raining tomorrow and I'm not gonna be here over the weekend so you know it is what it is I'm sorry guys for some lighting issues but can't be perfect all the time we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna take a mirror photo with all 20 of these sweaters I've been getting tons tons and tons and tons of requests for chunky sweaters and for everyday outfit inspo like casual for class for my business casual girlies so that's what we're going to aim to do right now we're gonna get her done 21 outfits later my room looks like a disaster but you know what I'm proud of myself so yeah you know the drill time to hang everything up We're having my favorite meal ever for dinner tonight. Shrimp tacos with avocado crema, mango. I have a lot of crema. I'm hanging with the coolest girl in school. Hey girl. I put a Christmas jammies on. I'm sorry you don't feel good. In college, I had an obsession with popcorn with M&Ms on top. Like when the popcorn's hot and you pour M&Ms on top of it, they get like all like melty. And my memory on Snapchat today was Lauren and I eating popcorn with M&Ms. And I totally forgot that this snack even existed. Like same with bagel sandwiches. Like I was thinking about it today. And I was like, I haven't had a bagel sandwich in like forever. And I used to eat one every single day, every single day. And so I just saw that we had, whoops, popcorn. And I was like, I have to make that right now. All right, it's 7 p.m. I still have things to do today. Majority of it is submitting content. I did quite a bit while I was at the gym, but I still have like an hour left. So we're gonna go upstairs and do a voiceover. Spend some more phone time. 
up to do. I'm being a smart, responsible girl, and I'm backing all of my Europe footage up to my hard drive. If you guys are a content creator or you just have a lot of pictures, highly suggest every month moving things over. If your phone gets stolen, if your computer crashes, um, any of the above, you'll have everything backed up into one spot. I just submitted some content and I packed up an overnight bag. We're spending two nights at Madison's. I just packed a couple of pairs of jeans, a uh, little casual top. Guys, I found this random beatbox. If you know me, you know how much I love beatboxes for pregames. And I'm going to do my makeup in the morning. Like, we're going to have a majority of the day here tomorrow. So, I don't need to pack up everything just yet. But makeup I'm going to pack up tomorrow. Toilet good morning, treat. guys. It's Friday. And it's going to be a good day. Today is my dad's birthday, which is so exciting. And they are celebrating by... Drum roll, please. Going to get their passports renewed. I have been begging my parents to get their passports renewed um, since I got mine. So a little over two years ago. And they just have been putting it off, putting it off. And they are starting to realize how many opportunities are coming my way. And how many they like are out of the running for because they don't have a passport. So they decided it's finally time to go and renew them. So they have a passport appointment at 10.15 this morning. And they are going to go to breakfast at our favorite spot that's right next door. So I'm going to head to the gym and then meet them after. It'll probably be a shorter workout because I have a feeling their appointment won't take very long. But I figured some workouts better than no workout. Today I'm wearing all green from Glow Mode as well. I just rediscovered this set. It was hiding at the top of my closet. Um, leggings are a great dupe for Lulu Aligns. And then this tank is always such a good dupe for the Lulu Align tank. I also switched over to my Canon G7X. I've been vlogging on my Canon M6 for the last like six months. And I really like it. It's just really bulky and it has no stability to it, which I really don't like. But um, it's a little bit chunkier and since I'm getting ready for a social outing type of weekend where I know I'll be at college dive bars and things like that I was like you know what I'm gonna bring the G7X and switch over to something smaller plus I love the flash photos this takes like spur of the moment when I'm drunk like I go crazy and like to take a million photos on this digital cam if you guys are looking for like a big splurge item um for christmas it this is so worth it especially for the aspiring content creator in your life i honestly prefer this camera but for the amount of wear and tear the like heavier duty your camera has been really good for me but anyways okay let's kick it short and sweet 10 minutes on the stepper 20 on the tread because my dad texted me and said he was done with his passport appointment apparently it was super quick so i'm headed to meet them at breakfast now and i'm pumped this is my favorite spot i have been patiently waiting for chris stapleton to release his new album and it came out today so i'm jamming on my way to breakfast I got my favorite thing, the sausage chorizo burrito here. They put potatoes in it, it's so good, but you have to ask for a side salsa. And dad got his usual breakfast. Mom is not a breakfast person at all, but she just got a, a bagel with butter. <laughs> My breakfast gets a nine and a half today. I really should give it a 10 because it was honestly the best it's ever been. All right, I came home to two packages. The first is from Dolce Vita. I got a new pair of Xenas because my other ones were disgusting and my mom told me I needed to throw them away. <laughs> So I did, and they sent me new ones, and the new ones, so. They're back to the original. No, so, okay, I've had three pairs of white Dolce Vita Zenas. They're an incredible shoe, but if you are wearing them for 10 miles a day, they do only last about a year, and then they'll wear out completely. Um, so I've been wearing this sneaker since I was in college. The first pair was like, um, like a, a tethered material, like a, kind of like a terry cloth. The second ones were leather, but they had like little perforations, like little holes in them. And the new kind is fully leather. So I have a feeling these ones will last a little bit longer because leather is so much easier to clean. Got those, and then I got a package from Frame. Frame is a high-end sustainable company that has really nice stuff. And I've been on their gifting list this year. They came out with these travel pants. They're called, um, it's a new collection. I keep forgetting the name, the Jet Set. 
and they're basically they kind of remind me of Spanx. Like they're elastic. Oh, you know who's been um, promoting them? And so I got the flares. I also got this skinny, which people are probably like, what? I got the skinny crop. And I got these because I I'm don't own a pair of skinny jeans. And I when I wear knee-high boots, the only thing you can wear knee-high boots with are a skirt or skinny jeans. And I was like, well, I want to be able to wear them. And I kind of like the look of skinny jeans. Abby girl ready for her last road trip. So it always takes people by surprise when I say that like 75% of my makeup routine is from e.l.f. and e.l.f. is having a huge sale right now so I just kind of did like a chatty get ready with me um, to post to Instagram and my like to know it because everything is 40% off. That's crazy. Um, and I just popped a couple more curls in my hair. This is what I'm going to wear today. We've got about a three, three and a half hour drive up to see Madison and we're headed straight to dinner when we get there. So I wanted to be in something that was cute yet comfortable. So I'm in a black bodysuit and then these corduroy wide leg pants. They feel like sweats, but you know, I look cute. They're from American Eagle 2, Converse, cute little scarf, and then a black leather puffer all ready to go. I've got my bag packed up. I'm with the Mannions and Mrs. Mannions on her way home from work right now. That's a really bad place. Okay, we just made it to West Virginia and the first thing that we did is run to the liquor store and I wanted to tell you guys about my all-time favorite drink. My favorite alcohol like of choice if they have it are these oils. If you are someone that likes sweet things like, but, and you wanna be sipping on a seltzer, but you don't like the carbonation of a seltzer, you need to try these. They're called boils, and they're flat. And they have 9% alcohol in them, so drinking two is like drinking, I mean, drinking one is like drinking two seltzers, like White Claws or something. And they only have a couple flavors. They have lemonade, watermelon, tea, mixed berry, but I always get the strawberry. They didn't have any today, so I ended up getting regular lemonade. But they're so good. They're expensive though. They were like $18 for four. Guys, look who it is. Uh, look who it is. Uh, my little baby Chase is home from college for the weekend. He found out we were taking a trip to see Madison. And he, and he was resist. like, oh my he God. Come with. He was like, bring me with. So we picked him up yep. from school yesterday and he just road tripped here with us my favorite people we just got to madison's apartment abby is here for the weekend if you happen to belong to the housing department she's not here for the weekend but yeah she's just a stuff here it's gonna be good we just got drinks and we're getting ready to head to dinner just popped one open i like this better the berry one's better than the lemonade i think guys look at guys happy saturday uh totally forgot to vlog last night because I was drunk, sorry. Um, but this morning, we're cozied up in bed with Abby. We had a slumber party, Madison, Abby, and I last night. And my parents and the Mannions are staying at a hotel right now. So we're about to get ready. They're getting ready and we're gonna meet up and make some stuff happen today. We're gonna go to Target, we're gonna go mini golfing, we're gonna watch the game. WBU is away this week, but we're gonna just head to a couple bars tonight grab dinner and some beers, some brews, and just kind of hang out. So. I love getting ready at Madison's house. I love getting ready at Madison's house because she has all these neat products and they're all like displayed like this. And the best part is they're all my products, like they're old PR, but Madison like actually tries everything and can give me her honest thoughts. And like, she just has it all out nice and pretty. And look at her shower more things that I gave her. Like I gave her this Tula, the Kopari. I know we talked about living this last proof. time. We talked about it last time, but I just Mom like- Mom gave me that for Easter. I know, but- she, Was it, it PR and she gifted no. it to her <laughs> it, it wasn't, but um, oh they. I've been using a lot of living proof. Mackenzie, the last time she was here was like, oh my God, did you do this for me and like set up your things all nice and neat? And I'm like, no, 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 sister. Madison I just, and like, I are very, very different. Life. Madison and I are very different in this regard. Yeah. Anyways, um, I just got ready into my makeup. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. Long sleeve shirt, my jeans. Mom doesn't like them, they're from Girlfriend. I got them because Campbell Puckett was wearing them. She's one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. And they're from Revolve. Girlfriend, I'm wearing a 24. They're kind of big. I would suggest sizing down. They're like $225 jeans though, so I don't know if- Smaller. I don't know if anyone's gonna purchase 
same jewelry as always. Now that I lost all 30 of my necklaces, I'm very limited in my everyday jewelry. Oh my god, you didn't hear? No. We got so much Chick-fil-A. 120 nuggets. And look at the amount of sauce that they just gave us. This is crazy. Like, they thought this... They didn't think this was enough sauce for us? <laughs> Chase and I are sitting in the back. Okay, go, go right. Like the cool right. kids, the youngsters right. get to sit back here. You and know. Madison's taking us on a tour of West Virginia. I've already been given this tour because I visited her in September, as you guys might remember. Yeah, but this is a better everybody trip. else hasn't seen it. I don't know. Chase, do a pull up. Pull up? <laughs> one. Just you one? Keep going? Give me two. <laughs> we got a big 59 year old in the house you couldn't do one pull up. i forgot to vlog all my yesterday so you missed birthday cake and our she didn't out. forget she was just <laughs> un, uh, unable, unable to not do too okay madison has been going to school at wvu now for a full year and she has no gear so this sweatshirt but in champion and it's thicker and bigger. Really? I like this kind of sweatshirt better than my champion ones. Okay, I just got this postcard for this week's trip. 32 cents and dad has a fun fact for you. The fact is that this is printed with an old platen press and that was the first press we learned on in college how to print on. If you didn't know, my dad went to college for printing and that's what his job is in. And that was the first way you learn that we was, could get Abby everything was jersey. <laughs> So neat. Okay, we were supposed to be playing mini golf. We came to the wrong spot. And when we got here, we realized that they had chip and putt, which you chip from like a further distance. And it's just like, it's so hard. Um, Six dollars. Six dollars a person in order to play this. And it's so much funnier than playing regular mini golf because it's hard. Watch. Wait, insert Madison's be real of me right here the reactions of everybody's yeah, face is priceless down. loser buys first round of drinks it's not looking promising i did hit par actually in the first hole three and then i had six in the next you were the one. only one i was the only one that hit par the first and then i was the only one that got the max at the last nine holes who's your money on who do you think is going to win chase Probably Chasey Chase. I would hope Chasey Chase. He's going to school for it. Yeah. Chasey, I hope you Our big golfer. Oh, Chase, goals. how was the video That's of... No, you I didn't. I parred the first goals. hole, and you didn't part the first one. Not? No. No, you did not. You lost Damn. to me. Oh, wow. Well. How does it feel? This is one of those days where I'm realizing... <laughs> Okay. You're not supposed to talk when they're swimming. <laughs> that that distracted me. That's why she missed. <laughs> Over here, one person hitting over here. I'm up. I'm up here in the mountains. Dad's up there on the hill. Chase is over oh, there. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is Madison right now. Nice. This is the most we've laughed doing an activity together, like yeah, in this so 59. long. 59. This is what he's gonna do when he retires. Oh, what happened? To that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the chip all the way past those trees 50 yards wow on the other green <laughs> let's go you got it just keep your head down let's go girl you guys want to play again it's 350 at first uh, no yeah I'm, i could do miniature golf mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got another <laughs> thank you perfection <laughs> holy shit Mulligan. This is Mackenzie's. This is Mackenzie's 14th Mulligan. Chase one with a 36. Then we have Dad with a 38. What? what? You got second. Nobody remembers second place. No. Yeah. <laughs> we got Scrub with a 39. Uh, Madison so with a 40. <laughs> Mackenzie with a 42. And Jed with a 48. Oh, okay. That's not that bad. Probably, yeah, we no, we did recalculate Mackenzie's because it just... I what? 
Because you thought it seemed too low? It was, it was too a 38. low. It was a 38. It was a 38, and I go, something is wrong, and I, had, uh, I hadn't counted. So guys, yeah. Post golf, we've got an epic sunset rolling in, and we're off to Target for the annual college stock up. You just, you can't do a college visit <laughs> without going to Target. Chase, what are you hoping to find today? Uh, Anything? We're just walking around to have fun. Aww. Madison's buying my Christmas present right now. So one thing about me is that I influence Madison so much. Like I'm so good at my job really because she'll see me talk about something and then I'll go to her house and she's like, I got it. <laughs> Madison said, I saw your $6 candle post so I wanted to come get a $6 candle. They have new holiday scents. The Threshold are my favorite. Ooh. I like spiced gingerbread cookie. Mom doesn't like spiced gingerbread cookie. I, she told me I wasn't allowed to get it. I do. Because but... she didn't want me to burn it in the house. Chase. Chase, what do you think You're of this? Aw, what do you think of this? It's really yummy. But I want a Christmas one. It's not bad. Not bad? You don't like it though. Uh, I like well, this one. They're missing a lot of the Christmas flavors here. I wonder if there's flavors? a <laughs> We had success at Target. I got a card game. And I got a like little to-do list pad that I didn't need that mom got me to add to my stocking. And now we are going to a place called Kegler's, I think. Stefano. <laughs> All right, Kegler's has a great menu. Madison and I are doing the sampler. We're doing onion rings, these cheese bites, boneless wings. I don't know why they call boneless wings boneless wings. They're really just chicken tenders. And then we also got little baby burgers, a little bit of everything. I bought this game at Target, well mom did, for Christmas called Burning Questions, and it's just a card game. We're playing it. It's like ask you a bunch of questions, and everyone's over there. I got this um, little key lime pie martini. I'm not usually a martini girl, but it's like whipped pinnacle vodka, and it's really good. We're playing Burning Questions. Um, Alright, ne next question is, do you believe in second chances? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That game was a hit. Our family doesn't really like questions like that, like deep intellectual questions like me. But we had a great time. We stayed for three hours. Madison really wants us to go out and have a rowdy night, but Chase and I just want to stay inside and watch a movie. What is that, Chase? Go. We ended up staying in last night and we watched this movie about Holiday elephants. In the wild. Holiday in the Wild. Um, it had like nothing to do with Christmas, really. It was like Christmas for like 10 minutes in the movie, um, but it was like about this. The guy was so hot in it. Um, I liked the guy, the actor. He's from Parks and Rec, Madison said. I don't watch that kind of TV, but um, it was good. It was cute. It was like not the greatest movie, but it wasn't a horrible Netflix movie. And I really liked seeing the African Safari because we were playing that card game we were talking a lot about yesterday, like places we want to go. And like the top thing on my life bucket list is to do an African Safari. So the fact that we then watched a movie about it was kind of fun. cool. So. Anyways, we are up in Adam this morning, packing up. Madison's gonna come home today um, so that she's home when we put Abby down tomorrow. Abby girl, I can't believe it's your last day with us. She's not doing that great. Um, like her body functions are just like starting to just not work. Like she hasn't pooped in like two days. <laughs> so she's like preparing us. She's letting us know it's time. Yeah. Tell everybody you're gonna miss them. Yeah, they've watched you grow up for five years. Abby's eating rotisserie chicken for breakfast and she has it in her hair. <laughs> Yo, the kid mobile is stocked up. Is like I just ate mac and cheese. <laughs> Chase is eating pizza. It's 10.30 in the morning and we are in route home. I desperately need to edit my vlog. I said I was gonna do it on the way here and then I didn't. I just talked to Chase for three hours and listened to music and played on my phone. So today, today's the day. We made it home. We're really at Minions. We're dropping Chase off. Come here, Chase. Chasey, I'm no, never oh gonna my see God. you ever again. <laughs> oh, our baby. <laughs> All right, we'll see you at Thanksgiving. We love you. Thanksgiving. Go crush those exams. <laughs>
We just got home and of course I had some packages, some leftover items. So I'm about to refilm one Shein haul and then I got the rest of the items so that I could film batch number two. So it's 2 p.m. now. My goal is to crank out these two YouTube videos while we have some sunlight. So I've got about two and a half hours to rock and roll. Gonna put on some new Chris Stapleton, listen to that while I film the try on portion and get after it. At the time, I saw that they came out with it in more colors and I instantly, I wanted to grab it while it was in stock a couple of times and I'm really into it. It's black, it's tan, it's got the fringe. While I was filming, Madison and mom just went to the store and they got this Christmas ornament thing that you make with your dog's paw print. It's like clay. Mm. Yeah. I'm sure this took mom zero convincing to buy. <laughs> he let go of him. Wow, it looks horrible. That one could be yours. <laughs> Push it in there. <laughs> We're having burgers tonight because Abby loves cheeseburgers. And we wanted to send her off with one last favorite meal. I don't have anything yet, girl. Um, Abby just ate an ice cream cone. We're having circle time. Everybody's just hanging out. And Madison just took out every single pajamas that Abby owns and it doesn't really seem like she has that many outfits but that's five six seven eight nine Halloween costume ten ten outfits for Abby and her she has more and a that, bandana what's out here. <laughs> and a couple jackets, a couple jackets and she doesn't really she wear she, she almost has more clothes than I do. She doesn't really wear that many outfits, which is the funniest part. Okay, everyone, I am upstairs packing right now for my week-long adventure. I'm leaving tomorrow at 6.05 p.m. I just checked into my flight. I've got my suitcase. I have a ton of luggage, as you guys know. Another great Christmas gift idea. Samsonite runs tons of sales this time of year. And this is my favorite of all the luggage I own. It's soft top. It's the only soft top set I have. And I find that I use it the most. I think I'm going to bring this because I just feel like a carry-on is too small. I And I'm flying southwest. I have a free bag. So I think I'm just going to check a bag. So I'm packing up workout wear. I've got cute blue set. Then I have black set from Glow Mode with this little jacket. This runzy romper from Free People Movement. Cute little Halara set. And then my favorite little Free People set. I'm sure you guys could have guessed it, but the shoes that I am bringing to go with all those are these Hoka's, the like pinkish bluish one, the pinky purple blue ones. Okay, now for clothes. I'm kind of struggling with this because when I go to these like tours to look at places, I wasn't really sure the vibe. But I'm gonna bring this white linen set. It's just like a white long sleeve. And then I got like a pair of linen trousery type of pants to go with. They're more like business casual. I figured I could just wear this set with sandals. I'm sure I'll spend most of my days either in workout clothes or in a swimsuit, but I'm gonna bring a couple of options as well. So I'm gonna bring this set. And then these are the shorts. So I'm gonna bring that, this pink sweater, and these white linen shorts. I'm gonna bring my American Eagle jeans and then I'm also gonna bring this yellow top just in case we go out. I have a feeling it's St. Pete, you never know. This is from White Fox, super cute scene. All right, then another day I'm gonna wear this like linen set. I wore this the last time I was in St. Pete. I wore it on the boat in Greece, just like a great set to throw over for every day, especially in that area of Florida. Then I'm just gonna bring a white tee to wear with pink and white linen pants. I have this like little crochet sweater to wear over a swimsuit. And then of course I've got swimsuits because it is gonna be warm enough to go to the beach. Shockingly, every time I say um, a big suitcase is probably not necessary, I end up filling it. So I've got lots of sweaters and some boots, some tank tops, some shorts. Just a little bit of everything. I wasn't really sure what I would need. Um, socks, underwear, all that jazz. And then my personal item of choice tomorrow is gonna be my black long champ. I am gonna bring the drone as well. Tripod's gonna come with. And then tomorrow at the airport, I'm gonna wear my drunk at the airport hat. Hey Kay, there she is. Hi Abby girl. You were the best girl. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, you were the best girl. Are you gonna miss her, McKenzie? So sad. So sad, happy girl. Yeah, I wish you could live forever. Oh, it's just so much sadder than I imagined, you guys. <sighs> Alright, it's been an emotional week. It's been a long one. I can't believe this vlog is still going. <laughs> I'm gonna end this here. Um, thank you guys for all your love. I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Um for a hard emotional day but a new beginning uh, my style by rebrand starts tomorrow officially and i'm off to florida to hopefully find um oh uh, just like that you know like life just keeps going on so i love you guys thank you and i'll talk to you tomorrow